Hey guys, good morning. We are up and going this morning and we are getting ready to go head out and see Wreck-It Ralph in just a bit. We've been up and just having a leisurely morning. I need to do some cleaning around the house later, but I just basically been testing out things that I got in my FabFitFun box, doing my makeup, getting some more Christmas decorations out, um, and then just hanging out. So we are gonna see Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph breaks the internet. Today, it's supposed to be a really good movie. I'm interested to see the whole princess scene, and it looks really funny. We really like the original Wreck-It Ralph, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in the theaters. And then tonight, we're gonna come back here. I have chili to make. I don't know if they're gonna make chili in the crock pot for dinner, or if I'm going to just keep heating up leftovers. I guess I'll see what everyone wants. I can change the numbers on this, because today it is officially 31 days until Christmas. When I'm out, one of the things I want to try to look for is a bigger wreath for this, this area. Penguins. That one's penguins, yes. A bigger wreath for over this, and then I'll move that wreath to this door right there. Mine. Mine. Yay! All right, let's go get you guys lunch so we can go. So I got some chili in the crock pot. We're gonna let that simmer on low while we are off seeing the movie. When we get back, I need to change out my Scentsy warmers. I've gotten a couple of them changed out and I worked on getting things like I got my Christmas mugs out over here and got some of my other Williams Sonoma plates out on the other side. Of the After room. I unload the dishwasher, I'll figure out where I'm gonna put these in the, um, in the cabinet and wipe them down and everything. But I put these out and just kind of use them for dinners and things like that during the holiday season. The only other thing new that I kind of got up this morning was the Merry Christmas sign. We had this in our kitchen in Illinois. If you first started watching like back in the 2012, 2013 time frame, you may recognize that. I don't know where I put it in other houses. I think it's typically in our kitchen area. Uh, but there just happened to already be a hook up there, so I put it up there. And then if I find a bigger wreath for over the fireplace, I'm planning on putting either on this door or the door over by our closet and um, putting the bulb wreath on one of those spots. I think Penguin can tell we're getting ready to leave because he's giving a little, he's doing that little whine noise. So Dan already took off with Natalie. And I'm gonna take Isabella over and we're gonna look at Claire's for stick on earrings before we go to the movie and meet them over there. We are at Bridge Street. It's the Monaco Movie Theater here in Huntsville. You have to, it's where we just watched the last, it's where we typically go to watch movies. What was the last movie we saw? Wrinkle in Time. It's where we watched Wrinkle in Time. I think it was They have the comfiest. Too. It might have been Incredibles 2. It's where we watched Incredibles 2 also. I think it was Incredibles It was Incredibles 2. Too. I got freckles. It's where we watch, you do have freckles. I have freckles too. I have a lot of freckles. Um, I see them on your face. Yes. They're cute. They're cute. They're like little kisses all over your nose. Um, anyhow, we like going here because it's got the big recliner seats. So we are meeting my husband and his mom and Natalie over here. And I already got the tickets on my phone, so we should just be able to go right in. And then someone is wanting to go to Claire's to get stick on earrings Yay! and look at jewelry. So we'll see if we have time to do that real quick like before. Them. You can see how vibrant everything is right now. It's really bright, vibrant oh, yellows. Fall is <laughs> called fall sometimes because we fuck. Well, there's tens of them all over, isn't there? Oh, they got their big tree out. They got a reindeer. Looks nice. We are bringing an extra one back with us. We just stopped past Claire's and found some holiday earrings. And we are heading home to have some chili. So we found these cute holiday earrings at Claire's for the girls to wear. And then of course they made a wish list about a mile long while they were in there. But I thought these were really cute. These were the only ones that they had holiday earring wise that we saw at that store anyways, but they have little polar bears on them, some reindeer, some snowmen, some holly. Both girls do not do not have pierced ears. So the girl in there was asking Isabella, she was like, when do you think you're gonna get pierced? I don't know, I'm not old enough for pierced ears. How old do you think you have to be for pierced ears, Natalie? Um, nine. Do you get to be nine? My friends have been younger than that and they've already gotten their ears pierced. It just depends on when you're ready to be honest. 
You just get your ears pierced when your parents say it's okay and then when you're ready. Do you even want your pierced ears, Natalie? Well, yeah. I don't I think I really do. Will it hurt? Yeah, it hurts when they do it. I've had my ears pierced. And you have to take care of them. A tiny bit like the pinch. It pinches, and then you have to take care of it afterwards, too. It does hurt, but it's only a tiny while. So that means I'm thinking a teensy teensy 1% about doing it. About 1%? You can do it when you're older, Isabella, when you know for sure you want it done. You don't have to get your, you don't have you don't even have to get your ears pierced, guys. It's not a requirement. It's just a personal choice. Right? Okay, mama. I get it, like a, an infection is what my friend writes. It's tr I mean, I had a horrible time like taking care of my ears cuz I didn't know that I was allergic to nickel. We didn't find that out until I had to go through a number of like times when my ears would get infected when I had to use ear, earring posts that had nickel. So I'm completely fine if they decide they don't want to have pierced ears or they want to wait. I'm totally fine with leaving that up to them because I remember what it was like, like having your ears just like react to like certain earrings. When, when, it, when you first get it pierced, it's like a, it pinches and it hurts for a little bit and then it heals. But I had quite the time until I, I mean finally infection. learned that I was allergic to nickel. Now I just wear earrings that don't have nickel in them. Hurt. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, because your ears get infected. It hurts. And you have to take say care of it. Ten being extremely painful. And I never want to touch a nickel. <laughs> ten being. Ten being. One being. Meaning I didn't feel a thing. Ten being I had an eight pound, six ounce child that's adorable and sitting in the back seat looking at me. Ten, meaning it really <laughs> extreme, extremely painful hurt, and I okay. never want to touch a nickel earring post on okay. my ears again. I'd say yeah. it's probably like a f five, maybe five. Five means know. halfway. Then Half, so halfway, maybe not even five, to be honest. <laughs> Anyhow, this conversation took a downhill turn. So, we got cute sticky on earrings because girls are not planning on getting pierced ears anytime soon, but they can be festive with these. So, thankfully, Claire's has this. So, we're back. None of the decorations put up themselves while we were gone, unfortunately. But the chili does smell good. At least that cooked itself. So, we are going to have chili for dinner here shortly, and then I'm going to try to get the Christmas warmers out. Hopefully tonight will be the last We're going to get some bowls out for dinner and we're going to have some chili for dinner. And I think I completely forgot to mention it when we got back to the car. And I'm pretty sure I did not vlog it. But we were just like walking along. I took the girls to go to Claire's and then my husband had taken his mom back to her house. And when we came out of Claire's, we happened to walk around the side of the Christmas tree. And we saw Santa. So the kids got to, you can't hardly see, but anyhow. They got to see Santa, so we got a picture taken with him. But I think it was just, it happened so quick that it just, like, I got out my camera, snapped a picture, and then we kept walking. I didn't even think to get the vlog camera out. So anyways, bad vlogger. Oh, Isabella's over here putting treats, surprises, in the little advent hey, house. I'll give you a sneak peek if you want to. You don't, you might want to skip this part. I don't know. But I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. Wait, 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 Mom, I don't oh, do that. Okay, all right, all right, you give us a sneak okay. peek. So, in the front, there's 25. That is the first number. Inside, there is a trainer's treat for Penguin. Oh. <laughs> Honey, if that's going to be super stale after 25 days. Isabella? 24. I'm going to have to go through um, and check these. I'll have two trainer's treats. Oh, my gosh. Are they all for Penguin? This is Penguin's advent calendar? Yeah. You guys are going to each have your own this year. Three. They don't know yet. They haven't seen them. False. Just in case anyone wants Well, them. this might be the world's most interesting advent calendar, Isabella. E 22. More moss. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with the moss when you get it out of there? Stop. <laughs> oh. Natalie's listening to her. Santa. Penguin's barking at Santa. Penguin. Penguin. It's fine. Oh, look at him. Penguin. <laughs>